YouTubers, it is I, the Indominic Rex, in the Raptor Shell, and welcome to another episode of the Random Phantom. And today I have with me some Jurassic World merchandise. In particular, merchandise for the next movie, The Fallen Kingdom. I also have with me a little ruby box, but we'll move that over here for later, you know, so we can open it later. Ruby hasn't been getting a lot of attention here lately by us, so we just, so I just decided showed a little bit of attention here. At the end of the video, of course. No. In anticipation for the next season. But now, to get into all this, so you probably can see here, uh, I have with me a little Indoraptor box. And I'm just going to check real quick. But for one thing, they got something right here, cameraman. Take a look here. Come here, cameraman. Look. I got the sickle claw. They didn't just leave it as flat feet. I got the sickle claws narrowed down. Hats off to the people who made, who made all this merchandise here. All right, so which do you think we should make first? Okay, which do you think we should open first? Should we open this or should we open this first? All right, so you want to open this first. All right, well, well, apparently, we're going to open the Indoraptor first. Then we'll get into this little thing here later. So, um, I'm just going to, unfortunately, since I'm not all that coordinated, I'm just going to rip this box apart and hopefully just get it up. I know I'm damaging a perfectly good box. Whatever it takes. Feel like it's Christmas all over again. Only this time I'm opening Jurassic World stuff. So I have no idea what that is. Yeah, save that for, for recycling. And I am making a mess. You know what I should have done? You know what I should have done, cameraman? I probably should have gotten some scissors before I did before I did this, so yeah, yeah. Can you pause real quick? I'll be right back. Alright then we're back and I found me some scissors. Scary, isn't it? Alright, so we're gonna cut into this here. Just snip. And there we are. Just cut into the tape right here. So this one we can just rip apart. This one, this one ain't cutting. Uh, I'm gonna do primitive things. Primitive. Throw that one away. There. Okay, so I think now we can remove this. We can remove part of it. Sorry for the mess on the desk, it's been cluttered here and Ravenwood hasn't been cleaning up after himself. And uh, I'm going to be very delicate here so I uh, do not damage the merchandise. Because we just got this thing and uh, you can imagine I don't want to damage it. There, yeah, snap. There, yeah, snap. Of course, there's one for the foot. Okay, now back up a bit. Now back up a bit. I need them to see everything. Okay. Snap. All of it. 
Okay. So there it is. The Indoraptor without his tail. Focus on the Indoraptor. Okay. What do I pay you for? There's your Indoraptor. And uh, let me grab his tail real quick. It's covered in plastic. I have to rip this thing apart. Oh, so hard. Oh, I'm so excited for when the movie comes out. Ah, everything's falling apart. And everything falls apart. And ours as well. Did you do all right? I'm messing with that cameraman. All right, so now we have this. I think we're going to. We're going to attach this piece for me. Here, that's not. Here, that's not how we attach it. I don't know. I'm trying to see here. Right. Shut up, cameraman. I know what I'm doing. You do not know what is best. All right, there we go. That's better. Like a little chameleon tail, almost. The thing kind of looks more like a Deinonychus than a Indoraptor, but doesn't this thing look cool? Look at those hands, like Freddy Krueger. Yeah, yeah, shush. Like a little Freddy Krueger dinosaur. It's just like, Ugh, I'm going to haunt your dreams and eat your children. Ah! Okay, hey, stop that. All right, so. And behold, we have the Indoraptor of Jurassic World. You better watch out up there, Junior. You got just some competition now. Hey guys, who do you think, who do you think would win? The Indoraptor or the Indominus Rex? Only time would tell, but that would make for an interesting death battle. That would, it would. Hey, hey. Quit that. Quit that. Okay, what do I pay for? I don't pay you to mess around. All right. So this is pretty cool. All right. So now that we have this, now that we have this. Okay. So we have this here. Uh, now we are going to open this thing. All right. So let me see real quick. I'm going to cut along here. If that's what it says to do on the back of this thing. So I'm gonna so I'm gonna listen to that and cut along the back here. Snap. I like to cut along the backbone. I'm gonna cut again. Just rip it all apart. It all must die. <laughs> I've gone completely insane. But then again, you know what they say, most of the time, the best people generally do go insane. And they're at the Mad Hatter, so you know. Alright, so we're gonna back this up a bit, so just back this up a bit so everyone can see it. If you want, you can zoom in and see what we've got here. As soon, as soon as I... Get the exact cut, cause this isn't this isn't doing much of anything. I'm gonna split it along here. Just split along here a bit, okay? Let's see if we can get some results. Oh, that failed. Oh, no wonder it's a layer of tape. Volcano. Okay. 
And we have with us all 15 dinosaur figures. All, all of them. Every single Jurassic World dinosaur on the list. On them gents list, my dear. Hey, that's it. We have everything. We have, we have everything on them gents list. Everything. Focus, cameraman. Focus. Come on. Okay, you can. Right, so we're gonna rip this apart now. Hurry now. We may not have a lot of time left. So I'm just gonna get this started. So, here we go. Look at that. It's a pteranodon. This thing. These things were awesome in Jurassic Park 3. If any of you have seen Jurassic Park 3, the Pteranodons, they were definitely some of my, it was definitely one of my favorite scenes watching the Pteranodon swoop down. Because you don't get to see a lot of the prehistoric reptiles, much like the dinosaurs. So the Pteranodon was definitely something new that I liked. Now many of you may not have liked Jurassic Park 3, and that's completely understandable. I mean... There were some points lost in Jurassic Park 3. Some parts that were, I don't know, kind of shortcomings. But every movie has its shortcomings. I mean, the Spinosaur T-Rex fight scene only lasted about 3 seconds. It was an awesome fight scene. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong, guys. I was saying, every, every movie has its shortcomings, but it's... Doesn't mean you can't enjoy it. Now, here we have the iconic Stegosaurus. And Stegosaurus was definitely one of my favorites. I mean, just look at this thing. This Jurassic herbivore has it all. From the plates, to the deadly spike tail, to the bulky weight. This thing is one of the most deadliest plant eaters to ever run the Jurassic Forest. And here we have a Potosaurus. Now this was recently introduced, I believe, in Jurassic, in the first Jurassic World movie. I intru um, when I saw it, I was like, "Yeah, my childhood, I'm seeing a Potosaurus. It's so cool." Yeah. So I was enjoying this. I'm gonna have to refer back to engines list here to determine which dinosaurs and all that. Let's see, which, which one this now? Which one this? <gasps> we got the Allosaurus. Do you think we'll see the Allosaurus in the new Jurassic World movie? Oh, stick it. Stick a bug on it. So not only do we have one of the most iconic... Look at that. Not only do we have one of the most iconic Jurassic herbivores, but we have one of the most iconic Jurassic carnivores, the Allosaurus himself. Right? If I, now, Allosaurus used to prey on Stegosaurus. These two were like head to head titans, so. Yeah, you can definitely see the bit on this here. Okay, moving back from Engine Blitz. This one I can nail. This one I can nail without fault. Alright, cameraman, focus. Okay, we have a deadline to meet. I need you to stop messing with all this. Hey! Hey, focus! Okay, otherwise you get nothing. Alright, so we got this Stigimonic. I believe there's a Stigimonic in the, you know, in the movie. His name is going to be Stiggy or Stiggy. Anyway, here we got this Stigimonic. It's a type of Pachycephalosaur. It's got this distinguished bone skull with all the horns here. I love the detail they put into all this. I love the detail they went into all this. I love all the details. Ooh, here's something new. Metriacanthosaurus. Stop it. Dude, just... Okay. Look, if you're gonna be a camera guy, you have to focus, alright? Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, you'll have to excuse him. He's very slow. Like Internet Explorer. Yeah. You have to give him time to learn. You have to learn, cameraman, alright? 
Right, so here we got the Metriacanthosaurus. Now, Metriacanthosaurus isn't exactly new to Jurassic Park. It has been mentioned before in the first movie. Now, where, you might ask? Well, do you remember where Dennis Nedry was stealing the dinosaur embryos um, when he disabled the park security system? Well, okay. One of those little dinosaur embryo things he stole and put to the can. We see Metriacanthosaurus labeled on one of those DNA embryo container things. So there we have Metriacanthosaurus. Stop messing with it, cameraman, or you will feel my wrath, okay? And now, hey, what did I just say? All right, and here we have Triceratops. Feel free to look at that. Triceratops, it's definitely one of my most, it's definitely one of my most favorite herbivores. But not only that, guys, this thing was probably the most deadliest herbivore. Okay, back that up. You're getting it too close to the camera screen. This thing was definitely the most deadliest herbivore to walk the Cretaceous. Now, why? Not only because of those three horns and the frill, but the fact that it could rotate its head at almost a 360 degree angle. It could rotate it its head around on a ball and socket joint to basically move its horns to and fro. So say like carnivores, they bite those horns. The triceratops could rotate its head around, rotate its head and move about with the predator as they 